Now, after more than a decade of talking and some pretty heavy opinions, there is a draft environmental impact statement for the Lake Powell pipeline. That means you have 90 days if you want to register your opinions about that project. Fox 13's Max Roth gives us a quick first look. The environmental impact statement is as long as you might expect for such a massive project, but it gets down to some simple questions. What is the problem and does this fix it? The Lake Powell pipeline is completely unnecessary. It's too costly and it's going to require a 500% increase in water rates in Washington County to pay for. It's not a benefit to Washington County residents. It's an albatross for the future. This map from the draft environmental impact statement shows just how big the project would be. 141 miles of pipe, 5 feet 9 inches in diameter, starting in Arizona below Glen Canyon Dam and ending at Sand Hall Reservoir. In between four booster pumps to get uphill, six hydro stations, including junctions built in for Kane County and the Hilldale area to plug in someday. All that equipment will need about 71 miles of new power lines. And they don't guess at the number of miles of access roads. The price tag? They say $1.1 to $1.7 billion. But Zachary Frankel with the Utah Rivers Council thinks that's way off. The 2019 legislative audit of the Lake Powell pipeline found that the project will cost $2.4 billion. There is so much to this. We'll keep reporting. One thing, though, to keep in mind, the Colorado River is not an endless supply. It has been shrinking with overuse and drought. Right now, Lake Powell is at 50 percent capacity. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.